Robin Black here with the Fight Network. I'm here with Mark Hominick. Mark, uh, congratulations on the baby. Uh, thank you. Uh, what's it like being a dad? It's, I don't know, it's been pretty fast paced all week. It, I, there's no way if the baby had to happen the week of the title fight, I would have been able to do it because my mind's so occupied with that. You know, I just got here just in time to, to make it here for James. And where are we right now? What are we doing here? Here at the JLC, the first live MMA event for Ontario is in, in London. You know, so this is something for myself. This is, you know, a big honor for me just to be here because I've been training out of here for the last 15 years and to be a part of the first show even though I'm not fighting is, is pretty special especially after last week now everybody you know, there's lots of you know recognition about the show and what the UFC did and I, I'm expecting big things from this MMA live tonight now it's only been a couple of days but does your life feel different having a baby oh with 1000 percent like you know like I didn't put the baby down for the first two days you know just like I said your mind's occupied that's that's where you're that's where it's at and you know you're back and forth to the doctor making sure everything's all right and like when they're sleeping you're kind of like looking over they you know they make a cough you think they're choking on something you know it's 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 crazy <laughs> it's crazy to say the least and you know, again, it's only a couple of days. But do you think this is going to change your life? Do you think it'll change the way you fight, the way you look at fighting, your business? No, n not not that. I, I fight because I want, like, because I want to win, and I love to love to train. Like, I, I don't. I'm not one of these guys who like needs to be motivated by you know someone or you know like I've lost my dad and had a fight come up and, it, and it's not that wasn't like a motivating factor to me like obviously my dad's you know the most special person to me but it wasn't like a driving force and I, I think it's gonna be the same it's obviously on the business end of it yeah I have to make make ends ends meet for for someone else as opposed to my my wife and myself but you know I don't I fight for myself and I fight to win it's been a couple of weeks since your fight against Aldo how are you feeling about it now that you look back on it uh, on the when I watched the fight for the first time the Wednesday after the fight, and I was a lot uh, happier after I watched the fight. I was definitely, you know, everyone was like, "Give me congratulations and on this and that," but I mean, for me, it's not a congratul. You know, I didn't win. I, I go in there to win, and that's what I didn't. I didn't do. You know, I. I but after watching the fight, I was I was happy with what I did in there. You know, there's little things I could have changed, but there's things he could have changed as well. But I noticed in the third round, I, f I felt I was kind of taking over. I was winning the exchanges, and then he got the knockdown, kind of took the sails out until the fifth. So, you know, looking back, I think that was the changing point, the turning point in the fight was that knockdown in the third round. But, it, you know, I was, I was happy with the performance, but I wanted the W. You know, if the last round was a 10-8, and if you did win that third round, that's a draw. Is that yeah. going through your head? You know what? No, not really. I, 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 he won the fight. You know, he I had two knockdowns in the fight. Even with, like, I don't think the last round could have been a 10-8, you know, because people could say that about other rounds for him as well. So I, he, he definitely won the fight, but I know he's beatable. Everyone else knows he's beatable, and I know I, I'm the guy that if they put me in again, I will beat him. You know that creepy thing that grew on your face yeah. that everyone was talking about? What, what was that? Good. Yeah, I, I got a lot of hair right now, but no, my, it was healthy. You know, after about two hours after the fight, I had some ice on it, went right down. You know, it, like hematoma is, is one of those things, it's such a superficial injury. It looks a lot worse than it is. All it is is just a, like there's a stockpile of, of fluid, right? There's nowhere to go. It's just like if it was a cut, it'd be bleeding out. So, you know, I had some ice back, took some Advil after the fight, and it was gone, you know, in two days. I had black eyes, obviously, but, uh, you know, I was, I was fine. And what's going to be next for you now? You got a baby. You got to take a road back up to to fight for the title again. Oh, what do you do? Well, right now, I've been told that two fights and I get another title shot. So I want to go out there and make them impressive, impressive wins. I have a 60-day suspension, so I think that's great for me right now, just for where my life's at. I get 60 days to, to focus just on, on on the baby, and and that, and that's it. And that's where I want to be. Uh, but I'd like to be in in the, back in the cage in the UFC back. You know, by August, late of September, um, you know, there's the Korean zombie who said he wants to piece of me, and I think that's, that's the, he's barking up the wrong tree there for sure. How do you see that fight going down? I mean, this guy likes to come forward. You kind of come forward. That's your game, so. I, I, he's never faced anybody like myself, and I said that against Josie Aldo, and I, I did prove that as well, but I, I'd stop him. You know, I, I think, you know, it'd be an early stoppage, and I think it'd be a great fight until, you know, I landed that punch to the body or to the head or whatever to take him out. But you hit Aldo with some pretty solid shots to the body. Have you ever had anybody kind of live through that? Yeah, you know, that's the first time I landed. Um, in the first round, I think that what took a little bit of his win. It was a liver shot. It's like, it, it, it is. But, I mean, he's a champion for a reason. And he's, he's, got, that, he's that, got that grit. He can get through it. Uh, but, I, you know, I think if I'd attacked a little bit more, I didn't. Normally, I throw a right hand to the body, and I wasn't landing that because I, I was a little wary of his knees because a lot of guys, when they change levels on him, he throws a knee to the face. So, you know, the body shots were something, you know, I landed – too far apart. You know, if I, accumulation is the thing with body shots. It's if you land one, you land another, that's when it starts doing damage. 
And uh, obviously people have responded super well to that fight, and, you know, fight of the night, people are proud. Y you look back on it now, are, are you going to always be proud of that fight? Oh, for sure. Like that, like, I mean, I, I am proudly putting the poster up in my basement. You know, like this is, some, that was, I was a part of history and I knew that going in there. Uh, and I got to basically show what the last 15 years of my life has been about. You know, like showing who I am as a fighter, as a person, as a man. And I did that in front of, you know, the largest UFC of all time. So, I, you know, I felt honored to be a part of it. And I did truly feel, even though I didn't get the W, I did get to show, what, the, like I said, what the last 15 years about my, my life in, in training has been about. And, uh, you know, congratulations on that, Mark. And congratulations <laughs> on your baby. Thank you, sir. And best of luck, man. Thank you, Robin.